guys! So for today's video, I'm doing another snack review, and the snack that I'm going to be trying today is one of the new limited edition fall flavors of Oreos, and it is the caramel apple flavor. And when I saw these, I was so excited to give them a try, because I feel like caramel apples are like one of the staple fall snacks. Like, it just doesn't really feel like fall until you've had a caramel apple. Does anybody else feel like that, or is it just me? But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So I'm just going to start off, as I usually do, with some of the details about these first. I know that that's the really boring part, but I figured that, you know, some of it might be helpful to you guys. So one of the first things I noticed when I picked up this package is that it's a lot smaller than the regular Oreo packages are. The regular Oreos are like 15 ounces, and this package is only 12.2, which kind of sucks because you're paying the exact same amount of money for less product but we all have to make sacrifices every once in a while it's just it's first world problems is exactly what that is also each one of these cookies is 70 calories so if these are delicious and you wanted to eat the whole package I did the math for you it will be 1680 calories which is about as many calories as you're supposed to eat in an entire day. So with that being said, I kind of hope that these aren't that good because then I'll be tempted to eat every single one. It's happened before and it could very easily happen again. So we'll see what happens. So what do you say? We go ahead and get into the fun part now, which is the taste test, because I can't wait any longer to try these. Also, I'm going to be opening up the package for the first time, so if it's a little bit loud on camera and you have your earphones in, I am terribly sorry. My camera picks up even the slightest bit of noise, so it might be a little bit loud in your ears, but uh, just brace yourselves just in case. So, here we go. I'm opening the package. And... When I first opened them, like, this, the smell came out, and they have a very, very strong scent to them, but the scent doesn't really smell like a caramel apple to me. It almost just smells like vanilla. I know these have the vanilla cookies on the outside, so maybe that's what I'm smelling, but I didn't associate the scent with a caramel apple, so maybe they'll taste like a caramel apple, but they definitely don't smell like a caramel apple to me. So I'm just going to take one of these, and it's a little bit, a little bit crooked there, uh, but this is what it looks like inside. There's a lot more apple than there is caramel cream in there, and I noticed that the cream inside is a different texture than in regular Oreos. This is a lot softer in here, so I feel like when I bite it, it's probably going to come out the side and make me look like... I don't know how to eat cookies right, but uh, I apologize for that. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they don't really smell like caramel apples, but let's go ahead and give it a try with the taste and see how it is. impression of it is that it's good, but kind of like the scent, I don't really taste caramel apple. I can taste a little hint of apple, but I definitely don't really taste the caramel at all. I don't think. It's more of like the vanilla cookie flavor. I don't know if you guys have ever had the regular vanilla Oreos with the vanilla cream inside, but that's almost just what this tastes like. I don't really feel like it has that caramel or apple flavor to it. Uh, I don't know whether it's the cookie on the outside that almost masks the flavors on the inside. Maybe if they just used a plainer tasting cookie on the outside, you'd be able to taste what's on the inside more. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't hit me as like a caramel apple flavor. Like if I didn't know that I was eating caramel apple Oreos, I probably wouldn't associate it with being a caramel apple. Maybe what I'm going to do now is just try some of the inside without the cookie on the outside and see how just the flavoring tastes. 
So here I have some of the caramel cream inside. And kind of like I was saying, I don't really associate it with being caramel. It tastes a lot like the regular cream that's normally inside of the Oreos. So that's a little bit disappointing there, I guess. Uh, so now I'll taste some of the apple cream and we'll see how it is. That actually does taste like apple but it's a very artificial apple flavor and I kind of thought that's what it would be because it's I think it's hard for companies to take a fruit flavor and actually bring it into a snack because fruit has like this really distinct taste and it's hard to make it into like a candy and make it taste exactly alike so maybe they had a little bit of trouble transferring that apple flavor into a cream for a cookie but it really does have a taste like if you've ever had an apple Jolly Rancher or any other apple flavored candy it really does have that same taste just not as strong but I can definitely taste the apple flavor when you just try the cream by itself so I definitely think it is the cookie that masks the flavors of the cream inside because I definitely tasted the apple more when I tried it by itself. Another thing that I also noticed when I bit into this is that even though it doesn't have a whole lot of caramel apple flavor, it is still really, really sweet. I'm not a fan of really sweet things, which is why I normally like the regular Oreos because they don't really have an overwhelming amount of sugar in them, I feel like. But when I bit into this, I probably wouldn't even be able to eat more than one of these at one time because the amount of sugar, I feel like, that is in here is just overwhelming. Like, it just starts to get to me after a while. So that's kind of something that I don't really like about them. But I guess at the same time, it's also good because I won't be able to eat all of these in one sitting. I can space them out across a couple of days, which is really good because I don't want to spend all of my daily calorie intake on Oreos. That is extremely unhealthy. <laughs> it's something that I would do, though. So guys, overall I think that these caramel apple Oreos are just okay in my opinion. I am not really a fan of sweet things, so that might be the reason why they're not my favorite. And I also don't really think that the taste is much like a caramel apple. If you're someone who absolutely loves caramel apples, then you might be a little bit disappointed in these. But one of the beauties of the world is that everybody loves different things and everyone has different opinions on things. So just because these weren't necessarily my favorite doesn't mean that you guys won't like them. So I definitely say go out and give these a try. And if you do try them, be sure to come back to this video and let me know what you think about them because I would love to hear what you guys think. There's also another new limited edition Oreo flavor that they came out with for fall, and it is the Pumpkin Spice Oreos, which I am also really excited to try. So if you guys would want to see a taste test slash review on those, I'd be really happy to do it. And just give this video a thumbs up, or let me know in the comments that you would want to see it, and I would really love to do that for you guys. I'm also thinking about maybe making this into a series where I try a different food or a snack every week and let you guys know what I think about them. I think that's a fun video idea that appeals to everybody. That's something I've been struggling with is that I feel like a lot of my videos appeal more to girls than guys and I want all kinds of people to be able to enjoy my videos. So I think that's a cool idea. I'm kind of thinking about what I could call that. So if you have any ideas for snacks or foods or names that I could call my series, then also leave comments down below and tell me what your ideas are because I need some help. I'm really struggling a lot with that. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you did. It would make me so happy. I try to make my videos as fun for people to watch as possible, so if you do subscribe, you might have a really good time here. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for today. 
But I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing day, and I will see you in my next video.